Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm talking about light, no fire. I mean, it's in the background, so you could probably tell. Anyway, let's jump on over to the Tinterwebs and let me show you what I've got for you people. So, I originally thought that light, no fire would be coming out probably in 2025. And there's a lot of reasons why I think this. I'll put a video up there if you want to go and hit that one up. I still kind of think that we are going to be waiting quite some time on this. There's only one thing that's making me think differently to that people inside the view of us. And that is Sean Murray normally pins the biggest update for the year to his Twitter feed. Well, curiously enough, he's replaced. Replaced Echoes with something that isn't out yet. So could it be that it is closer than what I was thinking of 2025? It could be. I know Professor Cynical has recently just done a video to say it could be in May. And he actually gives an exact date in May and an exact time. Yeah, he's, he's really put his cards on the table as Mr. Professor Cynical. And go on hitting up Professor Cynical's video up there. Pretty darn freaking gnarly stuff. But yeah, it does make me think I could be wrong. It does make me think I could be wrong. I'm watching Pref Professor Cynical's video. I'm, I'm now second guessing myself. I mean, they have done the advertising campaign, like LZ actually pointed out, and Robot Boy. Yeah, other great videos. Go look for them. However, I've been hit with some other curious information. A Drew Bryant, thank you, Drew Bryant, has hit me up. And there's Drew Bryant right there. And he points out that the Light No Fire artwork wasn't actually designed in-house by anybody at Hello Games, but a secondary company. Well, let's go and hit this up then, people. Now, here we go. Let's scroll. So it was actually done by Jeff Han. Jeff Han. Okay, coolio. Well, let's uh, scroll on down a little bit. And there's Jeff Han. Jeff Hand Design. Okay, let's uh, let's just hit up Jeff Hand Design over on the old space over here. Let's just close that for a second. And uh, yeah, allow cookies and all that sort of shenanigans. Righto. Again, now it does say that he's a gamer. He's got his own website as well, jeffhan.com. I'm going to look at that in a moment as well. We're just opening up nested freaking dolls at the moment. But yeah, Light No Fire trailer right here. When you actually click this line... So when you click into this, you've got all this write-up here and it talks about the Game Awards. But it was definitely designed by Elastic. Design Studio Elastic, Design Director Jeff Han who we're at right now, 3D designers, there was quite a few people actually put into doing all of this. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. I thought they did all their artwork in-house. Very odd, very odd indeed. Okay. Well, anyway, there's that, people, which is a little odd. So maybe all this end screen here isn't inside of the actual game engine, but a 3D render created by these guys, you know, where you see all that sort of stuff going on. Honestly, think a lot of that, this end bit, just this end bit here, all of this was created by their studio. So this isn't inside the actual game itself. It's a separate design piece by Jeff Han and his studio. That's what I'm getting from this, people. Anyway, not the full trailer, just the end, ending off bit. Okay, so this is the actual video itself that they've done. These are all their concept bits of art that they've done for Light No Fire. So it could have been any number of these sort of icons that you're seeing flashing up here right now, people. I am thinking about downloading this video and slowing it right down so we can have a better look at some of this stuff. Because some of it looks freaking amazing, but it's just so freaking fast. You can't really put a handle on any, any individual piece or to see if there is a concurrent running theme through them all that sort of links them all together, that gives some sort of level of consistency. I'm noticing the star in the centre of it is quite prominent, but sometimes it's actually given a lot more pieces. So a lot of people have said that it looks a little bit like the anomaly icon. I don't think it is going from this. I think it's just sheer coincidence. But yeah, like I say, I might download that, slow it down and do a separate video on all of this. But just to show you... It is actually done. I mean, 300 plus logo designs and symbols that they did for Hello Games and Light No Fire. That's, that's pretty darn freaking crazy, isn't it? Pretty darn crazy stuff. Anyway, let's jump over to Jeff Han's site. You can see here, he's quite a wondrous artist. Very nice indeed. Some beautiful artwork, Jeff Han. 
Okay, that's almost like night tick or something, doesn't it? Who freaking knows? A brain on a plate! Okay, some of this is a little bit disturbing. Pretty awesome stuff, though. Pretty awesome stuff. There's, there's some right artistic people out there in the world, isn't there, peeps? Anyways, pretty blown away by all of that, and I hope there was something in that for you guys out there inside of the Viewerverse. And again, thank you, Mr. Drew Bryant, for sending this information over to me. Thank you very much, indeedy doody. Anyway, so it's just a very quick news video, people. I'm going to be ending off now, and um, yeah, I'll probably do a slowed down version of all that artwork at some point and see if we can get some speculation going. But I need to do a deep dive into it first, so I know what I fudge I'm going to be saying. Anyway, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.